Hi everyone, I'm Craig Muirhead from pipingclub.com and today we're going to look at a movement called G-Strike on D. It's got a bunch of different names this movement but it appears in lots of different pipe tunes so it's a good one to know or a good one to practice if you've been working on it with your own teacher. If you need the PDF for this, you can find it at pipingclub.com. Just sign up uh, to the Already Play page and you'll have access to lots of resources to keep you busy. Um, so we're going to work through this slowly, as usual, but the, the movement sounds like this, full speed. Don't be daunted if that seems really difficult, it's quite simple when you break it down. Um, so once again, I'd just like to thank uh, Strathal and my employers for giving me the time to do these videos in lockdown of 2021. Um, I hope they're of some use to you and fill in a bit of a gap in your playing. Remember to keep in touch with me via the Piping Club website. Um, info at pipingclub.com is the email. And I'm on social media at Craig Muirhead on Twitter, at Craig Muirhead Music on Facebook. So please keep in touch and post any videos of you playing. I'd love to hear it. So we're going to start off um, on low A. It's not part of the movement um, of the G strike on D. Um, so we're going to start here. We're going to play a G grace note to D. And we're going to play a strike back to D. And that's it. That's the movement. So start on low A really slowly. So we're, we're keeping it slow right now. Low A again. And you want to get a nice low G sound as you strike your bottom hand down there. We're then going to take it from B, same idea. Again, from B. C now. We'll skip D and we'll head straight to E. Now from F. Then from high G, you obviously can't play a G grace note here because your index finger is already up. So you're going to play a thumb grace note to D. Like this. And then the strike as usual. We'll do that one again. And then to high A, it's nice and easy. You're just going to go straight to D and then your strike. And it's as simple as that. So let's try it again. Nice and slowly, although a little bit up in, up in uh, pace from what we did there. So starting on low A. On B now. C. Over to E. G. And to high A. Remember when you're playing in the top hand though to lift that pinky up at the bottom because it's easy to forget when you're going between the top and the bottom hand so often. Excellent stuff. Let's try it once more at full speed. If you're not ready to play at that speed yet, it doesn't matter. Don't try, keep it nice and slow and get it right. But for those who are feeling confident, let's give it a go.
Great work. So remember, all these resources are available at pipingclub.com to keep you busy. Just sign up on the Already Play page. Remember to keep in touch, let me know how you're getting on. And thanks for joining me today on this little tutorial. Cheers, we'll see you again soon.